Hi, y'all. How's your Sunday been? I hope it's been as good as mine. I was working on getting the rest of these Christmas decorations down today. Just about wore myself out doing it. Still got a few more things to take down, but we've made great progress. Um, tonight, I'm making two meals, actually, because Bob wants to cook out. He's not doing the diet thing with me, so he's doing his, you know, grilling on, uh, and baking a potato and all that good stuff. So while he's gonna have a nice big uh, hamburger, which I've got here on this plate for him, I am gonna be making a hamburger salad. So I'm gonna get started um, by heating up just a smidgen of oils, just a little bit, just enough so that these onions won't stick. But I took a nice onion, they're just a regular white sweet onion, and um, sliced it, put a slice for him to have on his hamburger, and then I took a slice for me and chopped it up. And so I'm gonna saute that. This is what I have here, a little dish of them. That was just one slice, so it makes a pretty good bit. had this salad before and it's really good. It tastes just like you're eating a Big Mac, only without the bread. So, anyway, we'll get that sauteing and once those onions start getting done, then we're gonna add in about five ounces of ground beef. So, in a nice lean ground beef. Um, and while that's going on, I'm going to start mixing up the dressing, and I'm just going to mix it in this little bowl right here. Let me turn y'all down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, got the bowl here, and I'm going to put two tablespoons of Thousand Isle dressing, and I've got this um, Marie's Thousand Isle dressing. Probably should have bought some low fat, low calorie thousand dollar dressing, but I wasn't going back to the store. All right, so then we're going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder. Even though we're cooking onions over there, we still want to add a little bit more onion flavor. And an eighth of a teaspoon, That's not very much. And it also calls for about a fourth a teaspoon of vinegar, white vinegar. And I have such a huge jar of vinegar that I had to just go ahead and pour some out into a little dish here so I could dip into it because I was afraid I'd overdo it. So, or spill it some way. Well, that's not working. I'm going to have to use this little skinny one. vinegar and then I'm just supposed to stir that up stir all this together and this is going to be the dressing that goes on the salad all right those onions are starting to brown a little bit sizzle so I'm going to add in the ground beef now Gonna crumble it up in here. And I did wash my hands before I started. If y'all worry about me using my hands, good cooks just use their hands, y'all. I can't help it. I just do. So, yeah.
This smells good already. This is another one of those really quick meals. You know, this is the amounts I'm giving you. That's just for one serving. But, you know, if you were doing it for your family, you just double, triple, quadruple, whatever, however many are in your family. And I'll show you what else I've done. So I took some romaine lettuce, just a big bunch of it, and I pulled off about six good leaves of it, put them in my salad spinner, and well, I tore them up into little pieces, and then put them in my salad spinner, you know, washed them, got them nice and clean and now dried. You don't want a soggy salad. I'm missing any little pieces. So that's about three cups, three and a half cups, something like that. That's what it called for. So as soon as this ground beef gets ready, we're gonna dump it right on top. And it's just about ready. A little bit of pink in here. Right, that meat looks just about right. The onions are definitely tender. I'm done. Let's see if I can bring y'all out of here and let you see. You see, I've just got that. So there's no paint left. It looks done to me. Picked up quick in a hot skillet. I'm going to put y'all back down so I can get this salad together. Obviously, I'll be eating before Bob because he hasn't even put his stuff on the grill yet. All right, so that looks pretty good on there. Right, now, we're going to add, make sure I'm doing this right. Um, a little bit of shredded cheese. I'm just using the sharp cheddar cheese here. Set about two tablespoons, so I'm just going to do that in my hand here. One, two. All right. And then I'm going to top that with some pickle slices, regular dill pickle slices. I'm going to grab a fork and get them out of the jar. As I recall, this is what really makes it taste good. So I'm going to probably put a few more than what it called for. Just kind of decorate around on this salad with these pickle slices. dill pickle salad. Right. And then I'll put the sauce all in there. I 
make it look fancy. Then I'll stir it up when I'm ready to eat it. <laughs> it tastes like the burger, you're going to add a teaspoon of sesame seeds, because that's what's on the buns when you buy these burgers, like the Whopper or the Big Mac or whatever, you get a seeded bun, well, there you go. Look at that beautiful salad, y'all. Does that look pretty or what? So simple, and I am ready to dig into this. So, um, hope you can uh, have a wonderful evening. Hope you are planning a great week, and may the God may God bless you in all that you do. Have a great evening. Bye bye.